A favorite area of mine, kind of a fun area of mine, is panoramas. Now, years ago, panoramas in Photoshop and Elements weren't as good as they are today. They're very intuitive now. They really help you put the image together. But there still are some things you need to do before you get here to help the process out. You have a camera. You don't really need a tripod. You used to, but not anymore. But I would still suggest that's not a bad thing to have. You put your camera on the tripod or you're holding it kind of rock steady. You take a photograph and you move to the right or the left or up and down, I guess, doesn't matter. And you make sure that the photo, the second one you're taking, has some elements of the first one in it. Because what's going to happen here is Photoshop is going to look at one like the right side of one and the left side of the other and say, uh, OK, this matches up. I'm going to use this one. And then it'll go to the next and to the next. I've had a dozen photographs taken, and it actually works pretty good. Now, let me show you these three right here. So like this one. Now, you can shift click or control click. Now, if you control click, you have to select each one one at a time. If they are next to each other, a shift would get all three with one click. OK, open them up. OK, three images. And they're in my backyard. Kind of fall coming on. Leaves are coming out of the trees. A nice photograph. Or actually photographs. There's three of them. What we're going to do is go up to the word Enhance and go back down to Photo Merge and select Panorama. You can do this in the organizer. You do not have to do it here, and it works the same way. But we have Auto, Perspective, Cylindrical. You can try these different ones. Nine times out of ten, if you're just trying to stitch the images together and make them look like they're one photograph, Auto is probably the best one to choose. Now our files, we can come up here. Are they files? Are they folders? Now in our case, we can just add the open files. There are three of them. You didn't have to select them down here. With that done, do you want to blend them together? Yes. Does it have a vignette you want to remove? No. You can try geometric distortion correction. Now, in my opinion, wait on that one and see what the image looks like. If it really looks distorted, then come back and check that one out. We don't really have to do anything else except sit here and have a cup of coffee. Click OK. It's doing its thinking. I'd love to see the algorithms for this, although I'd never understand them, I'm sure. Now, the edges up here, do you want to automatically fill them in? And this is typically what's going to happen because you've got three images. Uh, we'll try that. Click Yes. Now, at the bottom of the scene, it's probably going to be OK simply because of the fact that it's mostly grass. Up here, we might not be so lucky, but let's see what it does. Wait, wait, wait. I remember that in the military. Hurry up and wait. Ain't it cool? That's absolutely amazing. I just about defy you to find out where it stuck them together. Now we have a new image or a new document, which is cool. Here's our originals. Over here, we have a layer that has the stitch put together, stuck like glue, three images. Now if we turn that off, you will notice that if I turn these off, you can see how it stitched them together using these masks. The older system used to draw a straight line, which is, I don't know, kind of what we did when we did panoramas in a darkroom, and we put them together. What this program does is it looks for edges, which makes it extremely difficult for the human eye to say, oh, I can see where it's doing it. This is absolutely amazing. It is so cool. Let's go ahead and turn on this one again. You can see it. Panoramas. Tripod, good thing. But understand, the new program doesn't require the images even be straight left and right. You can even put the camera at a 45 degree angle. As long as it can find something in the image, it will put it together. Tell you what, let's save this one. And we want it in our Restoration 2. I'm going to leave the name as Untitled Panorama. You can change that if you want to. And let's close out the other ones. Shouldn't have to save these because we didn't change them. Well, there you go. Panoramas. On to the next.